Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft Vanilla server. Today I got a little something different for you. Asuma approached me yesterday and asked me about getting together with him and maybe putting together an elevator for him. And in exchange for that, he's going to help me mine a bunch of diorite with a beacon that he's got set up down below in his quad slime chunk form. So I'm going to go ahead and join up with Asuma in town and we'll get started on today's festivities. <laughs> All right, so here's Zuljin. As soon as I logged out a moment ago, uh, he logged in, came online, which is awesome. So, uh, for everyone on my channel who doesn't know Zuljin, he's the guy over there building the massive castle at yeah. the moment, the White Castle. Yeah. It, it looks sweet. <laughs> Thank you. It's it's it, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. There's a lot of dor dorite over there that's gone into that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm out already. I'm diorite poor right now. <laughs> I think I'm going to be build. able to help you out with that today. I, think. I heard that you had mentioned something um, when we had messed around last time in a group and said that you had a good spot with a beacon. Yeah, so I got a beacon just set up underground. I mean, that's that could be anywhere, really. It's right. just uh, somewhere where I've been digging and there's loads of diorite and you can instant mine it if you've got um, efficiency 5. Do you have efficiency 5? Yes, I do. I sure do. Good. Yeah, so we can just tear through it with the beacon, which at the moment is somewhere over there. We need to go and pick that up. Um, the reason we're actually over here though is just to quickly pop around the corner here. Um, so you already put your name in for this, haven't you? I sure did. It's quite it's quite an invention that Top Mass put together. It's it's lovely. Yeah, it's an awesome little idea. It's a, uh, a Secret Santa. We all know what that is. If you mm -hmm. don't know what Secret Santa is, um, everyone puts their name in a hat and then draws names out and gets the other person a gift. Um, isn't the idea that you don't know who it's from though? I believe so. I, I, uh, well, until the end, maybe it's revealed that way. It's just the the thing about Secret Santa is you want to give a gift. Well, actually, I don't know the rules. There's there's <laughs> there's Secret Santa and there's Dirty Santa where I'm from, and Dirty Santa is a little bit different. Not dirty in the way that all you guys are thinking. So calm your little <laughs> hormones. I'm talking. There was a version of it that one of them you don't know who you're giving to, and one of them you don't know who you're receiving from, and I always get them mixed up between the two. I think the dirty one is when you don't know who you're giving it to. Maybe so. Um, because we're doing videos here, I mean, Top Mass has been chatting about it. I kind of assumed that the person who's receiving it would know it's from you, so you'd sort of put your name on it. But now that I think about it, you might just leave them a gift and they'll have to find out right. from your video or something like that. Um, anyway, all I've got to do is rename two pieces of paper with my name on it. Mm -hmm. And one of them goes in the chest so you can see the other ones. Right. And the current and entries the so far are King Daddy D Mac, myself, iJevin, Tango, Top Mass, and now you. Yes. Let's put my name in there. So where does the other one go? This uh, one the other here? one goes in the box, right. And that's going to get deposited. And then we come back in a couple days and I believe we just go through the dispenser when everybody's already had the chance to put their entries in. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> I think so Do too. We We'd just come over here, like, take one one by one, I guess. And if you get your own name, you've probably got to put it back in the chest. Yeah, yeah. I Is have a, such a great idea for a gift, too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I actually don't have an idea yet. I need to start brainstorming. So I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna... wondering, is it possible to pull your own name out of the hat? Like, if there's an odd amount of people and you're the last one left and you pull one out, then <laughs> you're stuck with yourself. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, I would think I would think that that's very unlikely to happen. Maybe maybe we should all get together and draw at the end, like all draw together. Yeah. That way, if there's an oddball out, somebody could we be traded, or we can just redeposit the the notes and come back. So I yeah, was I like thinking that. of I don't want to spoil the idea that I have, but there's there's information that we all have in our personal lives that that maybe something that we're talented with maybe like a drawing or something like that yeah. um that's not something that we can communicate in the game but i have some information that i share with people sometimes and that's very personal to me so along with the minecraft gift i'm going to give some information in book form for that so interesting yeah that's not what i'm going to be doing i had, <laughs> I had something completely different in mind um, that's a cool little thing yeah <laughs> I do like it. Um, I like the idea of all, us all getting together as well um, to do the draw. It's nice when we all get together as a group. We don't do it enough, really. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. All right. Um, should we go and mine some dough right then? We can check out the place where I've been doing that. Let's do it. Because you could definitely do with some more for your castle. The plan <laughs> there is to go Minas Tirith style, right? <laughs> right. In 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 so many words, it's when you mentioned that it it really made a lot of sense, and it I can't do it. 
like exactly, but I can I can get some ring shapes, and I've already started one, and I ran out of diorite, but I've got some of the pattern outlined. Um, yeah. It's difficult to measure with the terrain the way it is, but uh, it is coming along, so it's it's a work in progress. I mean, anytime you do something that big, it's going to take you a while. So oh, it's yeah. just yeah, it's, sectioning it's off project. the work and the organization <laughs> is the the things that I've been having trouble with. But I'm starting to get into my groove. It's just because I've never worked on a project that that gone big before. Yeah, thing with thing with big projects is you got to. Uh you got to just have that motivation to do a little bit at a time, like each day, you know? Right. Um, actually, before we go do this, let's go for a tour around your place. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, while we're here as well, look look at my slime block elevator. Do you want to give this thing a go? It's yeah. ridiculous. See if it works for you. Just uh, walk on in and try and stand, like, in the middle of the slime block. So you're going up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it stops short. Down. It stops <laughs> short. Yeah, so it kind of worked the first time I did this. Works fine on my uh, on my creative server, and I spent ages building this. Had to rebuild it because I put it one block out, and it doesn't work. So right. um, the design you have is solid, absolutely it, solid. Yeah, Woolly Creeper put the design that I have together. It does seem like this one works kind of the same. The timing might be a little different, but the structure looks almost the same. Um, yeah. I think the segments are a little bit taller on mine, but we'll we'll definitely take a look at it. Yeah, they're probably going to be very similar. Now that you've said that, it might work with just a minecart on the bottom. It may, it may. Yeah, um, do I have iron to hand? I don't really, and there's no ender chests around here. I guess I could run upstairs and, and grab some. Um, yeah, because yeah, they're all kind of similar, out. really. But the thing with that one is I use tripwire because of timing like I was doing stuff with um, pressure plates before and then I tried to do stuff where the timing was done with redstone so there's like a signal that travels upwards and you know each thing a activates on a delay but I found that you could never kind of synchronize that up to the speed of the player if that makes sense right right so I went for tripwire hooks and it didn't work well it sort of did <laughs> you know how it goes yeah. <laughs> the timing in uh, in SMP is is always tricky man I'm not nearly gifted in redstone, um, but I'm lucky to have friends that know what they're doing. Yeah. Okay, I've got the track. We're going to need a track as well. Right. Um, so you can just stand in the middle and then press that button. It drops you all the way down. I took full damage, really, uh, every time. You're going to need to line the minecart up on that one, actually. Oh, can is you... there a special sort of way to line it up? Well, actually, if you do it, you won't be able to do it from the bottom. You can't place mine cart on mine track on um, on slime blocks, can you? No, you can't. But I was uh, well, I was going to nudge the mine cart in manually, but that looks like it's not going to work. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll come back up there. Yeah, come on back Let's up. Just I can't do that. <laughs> I could try and use this thing. That's not going to work, is it? I'm going to come up the slow way. Oh, it's such a pain. I really wanted that thing to be done by now. But here it is, not working. All right, so we're just going to put down the the rail at the top then, and right, drop right. it onto that block. That's precisely why I have the slabs in place on my side too, so that it doesn't um, move when you get up top. So put your cord in. So could I do that? Oh yeah, the slabs around it. I get what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> it oh. goes diagonal of all things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Is just that be a problem? put the cord Let's on top the of the the yeah put the cord on top of that actual um put it oh, on this I block see, you know what you mean. yeah 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 um, actually no what you want to do because it's a little finicky put the block down then put the rail on top of it the uh, gold block oh yeah 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 you following me <laughs> right then put the minecart on oh no 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 you got gotta, you gotta put it on the moving block watch right but now we can't remove the rail oh I see okay yeah it gets removed now we'll go try it's, it at the bottom yeah it's gone down but it might be bouncing around a lot because <laughs> of the uh, trip be. wires oh that's true I didn't even think about that might have disappeared altogether let's see where it is it's there it's there all right okay so I'll put down the pressure plate walk in get in the minecart no, <laughs> complete <laughs> fail. It doesn't work with it at all. All right, yeah, it just needs to be redesigned as well. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, now I'll put that back. It was a good try. It was, it was. It was worth trying, definitely. 
All right then. So let's go over to yours and ch check that place out. Right. Uh, by the way, with the whole Ministeria thing, um, when I mentioned that, I kind of pictured the backside area being the Ministeria bit because mm -hmm. if you've seen pictures of it, although it's got like a peak, like a castle, the actual shape of it is, um, I guess, I don't know, like cone-like. It really does right. extend out in a lot of directions and. I don't know, I kind of saw that space behind what you had as like a place that needed that because it right. drops down so much it, behind the other side of that hill, doesn't it? It does. And some of that area I'd like to be function, I just don't know how. It's too far in the planning stages. Like, I don't want to, uh, It's. I mean, it's too far ahead to, to even put it into the planning stages. Right now, I basically just need to cover it up. Um, yeah. You know, the original idea is I like to do interiors and stuff, so I just wanted a big old box that I can do it in. Um, and now I have it, but <laughs> it's it's crazy. Okay. Yeah, you'll, you'll get there with time. No problem. Up you go. Yep. Oh, wow, the long. front of this is open. Oh, this looks this looks quite easy to do, actually. So how does it activate each of the pistons going up? Is it um, time-based then with, like, redstone? Yes. Yep, it's all redstone. And I'm guessing because you've got a minecart, it's not going to have fr trouble with the timing because the player seems to be calculated different. Okay, right, I'm going to come up now. Let's, uh... Whoa! <laughs> what did I just do? You broke some. <laughs> oh, I tried to go into F5 mode, but it oh. looks silly. Yeah, this looks great. Oh, and we're up. And you I bumped get... into you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you. So I have a, um... I usually keep a, a, a track right here. And... Every once in a while it messes up, but... And that's it, you just gotta that's put it. it on like that. Yeah. That's cool. That's it. So I'm wondering well. if I can change this up a little bit in my base. Like, can these be full blocks and the one there be a, a half slot? No, wait, is that how it's done? Yeah. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just so it saves the actual height of it. Because you just don't, you just don't want to, like, when you walk over it, if this wouldn't be surrounded by anything, it would just go everywhere, you know? Yeah. Yeah, got ya. It's kind of trying to move by itself. I almost just walked off the edge, by the way. <laughs> the long fall yeah, down. It is a long fall down. It won't kill you, though. Yeah. So do you want to give us a little tour of this place? Sure. So this is originally the first box that I had, which was like a, a grand entrance. And I really don't know what I want to do here, except it's kind of like a hub to go to the different floors. I have a yeah. storage area down here, but I did a grand hall right here. And... Um, this is mainly just for looks. I did some large banners, a large chandelier, and um, kind of like the double dangled stairways. Mm. I'm gonna have. It, it oh. definitely looks good. <laughs> Thank you. It's <laughs> um, impressive. It was it was really really hard to maneuver around here to do a lot of this stuff. Like those banners, I had to get a camera account to pull away because like I didn't know. <laughs> like it's so hard yeah. designing something that size um, without some distance. You know, being able to fly back and forth. So, yeah, I know, I know what you mean. I saw you with a camera account online a lot, like yep. like a week or two ago, and I was wondering what that was for. Right. So now I know. I thought you might have been like working on some secret project or something because mm -hmm. I didn't see any time lapse in your video. No. But there it is. So uh, by the way, I, I do want to mention that when I first saw this color theme of uh, Nether Netherrack, sorry Nether Brick and the Dorite, I didn't really like it at all. Mm -hmm. um, but then it kind of grew on me quickly once I saw what you were doing with it. Oh, good. It's it's like a high contrast thing. You yeah, know? yeah. And uh, the chandelier looks pretty great as well. Thank you. I kind of just freehanded that with a, a picture of an existing chandelier. It doesn't look as good from the top, but from the bottom, it looks astounding. I like it. Yeah, you can kind of just see the blockiness from up here. When right. you're down below, it doesn't really capture that, does right. it? And I want to do some little rooms in the corners here, um, almost like. Um, I guess guard posts or servants quarters and yeah. then I'll upstairs is just the roof there's nothing up there yet it's just flat like the uh the birch on and, the floor yep yeah. and then you can we can just take the ladder down since it's shorter Whoop. oh there we go and then you got another room down here and then uh, another room uh, right, down here. right. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the storage area that I'm working on and this is the the rest of the castle which the rest of the castle I'm not real sure what I'm gonna do with yet I'm gonna do some different quarters some some bedrooms and I'm doing the little furniture design for my storage all of the doors have the chest behind them and that's how I'm gonna organize all of my storage and yeah. um, it looks cool and I have my little Although you've got, got a right click twice now well, if you know where everything is, it's 
I don't right. think. I might, it looks better. <laughs> I might redstone it. I'm not too sure. Ooh, I just had an idea. What's um, that? You know the whole trick with uh, minecarts and chests? Um, you mean to hide chests? This is a really good idea. Yeah, yeah, to to hide chests mm -hmm. in in a block. Like, what if you could just line it up so it was right in line with the spruce door? Then when you try and right click it from the front, it doesn't open the door. It just opens the inventory. Uh, that would be what pretty would that cool. Be? <laughs> that would be That's pretty cool. That's an idea. I'm, I'm going to look into that. That could be really something. Yeah, that would be neat. And uh, I had another idea as well. I don't know what it is. Today I'm just a little bit inspired. When we went down here, um, you you not got a plan for this place, right? Mm -mm. All right, well, just come down the ladder here. Hold shift for a sec. Well, watch right. out. <laughs> um, hear me out on this idea. Imagine that there's no torches in here. Mm -hmm. um, then you've got just a big, dark, empty space. So what if you built like a, a mob spawner uh, passive mob, not a passive mob, a hostile mob one, and you you built the sides of it out of glass so you could look into it. I don't know if you want to do mob farms if that's your thing, but <laughs> that just popped into my head. I could do mob farms, but I don't think in this area because this is this is this floor actually is um, like there's probably going to be one to two more segments in between yeah. here, and it's all going to be like bedrooms and kitchens and and dining halls and all that other sorts of sorts of stuff um the now below here i thought if i did want to do something like that i could because let's see if i can show you oh i'll move out of your way i don't know where hello <laughs> a probably in your place. ah you can look down here so <laughs> look in that hole Whoa, I still have yeah, a lot of room, right? I still have a lot of room to mess around, so um, it's quite possible that I do something um, that involves less diorite for, <laughs> for yeah, the diorite, definitely. <laughs> and wow. that's the ring that I started. So it goes around and it goes to the back, and it kind of just ends because I ran around. I ran out of diorite, but I was just kind of marking out where the ring was going to be. Mm. And it needs to go up quite a bit. Yeah, it looks it looks sweet. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> I love the way this is floating back here. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> some of it's just wacko. Yeah. Right, so we need to get you some more door right anyway, and then uh oh the pig's in the hole now. <laughs> <laughs> you can stay there. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we should definitely go get some door right then. I'll show you the place. I've got the beacon. Have you got the gold block? I do. Okay, cool. I needed that for ingots. <laughs> yep, I do <laughs> to have it. get the beacon going. <laughs> um, and yeah, and then later on, perhaps we can have a look at this slime block elevator and putting that in at my base, because I need one. I really do. <laughs> sure thing. It's driving me mad, the one over there. All right, then. Dude, man, this place is looking cool. Thank you. It's uh, going to be... A slime farm, a proper one one day, although it looks pretty good so far, right? <laughs> this is the quad slime chunk thing that you had built, right? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. And I came here before, actually. It's cool, isn't it? As mm -hmm. we're the only two online, we're probably going to see a ton of slime spawns. It can get to the point where you're just, like, constantly harassed. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> right. Um... But yeah, so I was going to turn this thing into a proper farm that would automatically Oop. like collect the items for you. Right. And I got halfway through doing that and just realised that I had nowhere near enough resources to finish that. So um, um, one of the things I've been doing in this area was just going around and branch mining for like diamonds and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but I constantly ran into patches of dirt, right? So there's going to be loads of it around here to kind of harvest up. Oh, that's and awesome. We need that haste. So I'm just going to pop up here and activate that. Um, beacon right there. Now we can turn it to haste, which is awesome. Nice. Yeah, so we can just spend a bit of time here, like fill up our inventories with Darite, and then that'll uh, help you get going. And then you'll be welcome to come back here and just use the beacon whenever you need it, really. Cool, that'll um, work, man. Yeah, so if you have a look over here where this cobblestone is, if you remove... Oh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> maybe not that one. Yeah, no, some of them. I forget where they are now. Okay, it's down a level, I think, maybe. No, okay, I kind of forgotten where I've done all my digging. Not good. Now I've got loads of slimes on me. <laughs> anyway, so somewhere around here I'd already, like, pre-dug tunnels, so you can run down them and just find loads of patches of uh, dirt right everywhere. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh. Yeah, I can see where some of it is. Uh, 
say, is this it over here? I understand. Good, there's an inner chest too that I can fill up. Did you try the the top level? Oh, it is here. Oh, Look, yeah. Just, yeah, it's this just, one. There's cobble and stone. So I think the first time I went round, I just patched it up with stone. The second time I used cobble. Yeah, so in these areas you'll find uh, dirt. Oh, look at this. Found a patch straight away. Yeah, myself. This is awesome, dude. It's a lot faster than I had been moving with this haste. Yeah, it's the way to do it. Just instantly. Do you care how the tunnels look? Nope. As All long right. as they're um, torched Properly up. Properly lit. Got you. Yeah, I can handle that. Fun. Okay, we're back uh, with a ton of dough, right? Yeah. Dough, right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? Do right? Like Dudley do right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, do do right? Is it die, supposed to be? Die die right? Like diet right? Die right. Like a, like imagine we have a we have a soft drink over here from a cheap store called Diet Right. It's spelled D I E T dash yeah. R I T E. <laughs> so <laughs> instead of diet coke, it's diet right. <laughs> So this I'm going to call it Doe Right from now on because right. that's going to annoy people. <laughs> I'm going to get lots of comments. Doe Right. You will. You will. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we got loads of uh, the stuff right here, but you've also got some in your under chest. Yes, and, but I don't uh, have an You don't an have an under chest here. Right. Right, so I'm going to make you one. Awesome. In exchange for building me an elevator. Okay, that's a, that seems like that a pretty a good payment. That is a fair trade. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> don't <laughs> fall, so dude. Close. Don't fall. Oh. I don't know yeah, how no, to protect I, you gonna, from I'm that. Gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna, oh, there goes my mouse. I'm going to help you uh, build this thing, obviously. We're going to build it together. It's okay. going to be fun. Um, um, are we going do to tear down yours first? Yeah, yeah, of course. We'll probably get everything we need from it, right? Right, yeah, just about. Okay. I I mean, I've got everything. We don't need to go over what we need. This was also made by Wooly Creeper, right? That's correct. And Does um, Wooly Creeper have a tutorial on it? He does, he does. It'll be in the, the link for my description for sure. And the original and video that I built this... And uh, it was also in that description. He's uh, he's awesome with the redstone. Y'all need to check him out. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch his tutorial while we're hanging out as well, just so I can understand how the thing works. Uh, but yeah, in the description box, there's a link for this. This thing is awesome. It seems to work every single time. Yeah. Has it actually ever hiccuped like once for you? Or nope, not a single time. <laughs> not once since I've been. Not once since it's been built. That is fascinating. The only thing that I ever had trouble with is before I installed this daylight sensor, the mm -hmm. cart would sometimes move if I would come when the cart was already down, if I would just drop down through the hole. Um, sometimes I'd hit the cart and it would move it. And now yeah. that the daylight sensor is installed, it never moves and the slime blocks don't push it. So it's perfect. It works That's out well. sweet. That, well, yeah, it does work out well. Right, let's crack over to uh, my area and <laughs> try and build it then. All right. Yep. You okay? Yep. <laughs> yep, I'm done. <laughs> You're looking up. All right, cool. All right, so we 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 we, we blah, 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 blah. let's start again. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we rebuilt this. We've rebuilt it perfectly from the tutorial. We have followed every single step, and uh, it looks like this is identical to the one that you built as well. I went and checked out your one. So do you want to ride it all the way to the top? Yeah. Check this out. Up as Zulgin goes. And, and back right at the comes. end. Yeah. I stop. So, so, what have we done? We built it up once. We realized it was in the wrong place. So, we tore it down. We built it up again. And it didn't work. And we spent ages just trying to readjust the timings, changing things here and there. And uh, it's not working. And we don't know why, do we? No. <laughs> Maybe if the uh, if the guy that built it could kindly comment and let us know. <laughs> it's, I don't think it's his fault. I think there's something wrong in this chunk because yeah. the one before just didn't work and it didn't really make sense why. And this one works flawlessly over in your area. Right. Yet here it's not working. And it's really strange because I've stood up there. In fact, why don't I head up there and you can show um, everyone what happens. You sort of come up to a particular height and it doesn't seem to matter what timing the uh, pistons on they just kind of ignore you right which is a little strange um so do you want to do you want to hit it and fly up here uh yeah okay and we can watch him come up and, and there right it is there. that one right there you always take damage so we change the uh, timing on this so i'm going to put it on the shortest one then you want to make your way up yep here we go and it stops you. And it so stops if I change, me. Right. Yeah, if I change it to the next one, it's probably going to... Do me a favor. On. Put it on the original setting that you had and knock out the top block. The the um, the block that the, the court's supposed to come through. 
Uh, the top block. <laughs> the block straight above me. The quartz block. Got ya. Okay, go for it. Um, is that... Did you knock that out? Yep, it's been knocked out. Oh, there's out. something that's in the way here. Let me try it, it again. It stopped you earlier this time. I don't understand. That's that's oh. your problem, is your exit circuit. Huh. So the timing so... on the exit circuit is wrong. So it lets us all the way up, actually. Interesting. Okay, we didn't think of that. So we sold... Huh? Alright, I can change the exit timing. Ugh. <laughs> Hello. No. <laughs> so maybe you just look like you're in a different position because yeah. of uh, whatever reason. All right, let's put it put a slab there. Okay, try it now. Oh, this would be brilliant if we solve it. This would be nice. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so close. Um, I don't think I can reduce the timing for that very easily. Uh, let's have a look here. Oh, actually, I probably could. Yeah, I can probably reduce it by another tick. Okay, let's try that. Okay. And uh, do you want to give it? Oh, I'm stuck on in the hole. way up. <laughs> Good luck. I'm in. Yes. Hello. <laughs> we did it. Oh, my days. We did it. Oh, Teamwork, so baby. <laughs> Do you know what? That was just too too much time on the wrong day, and yeah. it can really get you. Ah, oh, it's good great. though. It's good. Yeah. Now it's working. And we got a button here to go down. Oh, except right. I missed it. <laughs> you want to be in it when you go down, don't you? Otherwise, right. I'm gonna oh, dislodge the minecart possibly. Hold space. <laughs> I well, I didn't want to move the minecart. Right, this might not work now because I moved the minecart. Oh, okay, I can. We can. We can fix that up. Yes. Oh, yes! good job. Good job. <laughs> oh, amazing! And that's going to work every time now, right? Yeah, it's going to work oh, every time. Brilliant. That's brilliant. Thank you ever so much, Zuljin. I really welcome, do appreciate man. you helping me with that. You're welcome. Oh, and you and you figured out the problem at the end there. <laughs> uh huh. Maybe that old yeah. training from Wooly Creeper all these years of. I've honed my skills. <laughs> Redstone in skills. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, um, yeah, that was probably my fault then because I added in this custom wiring and I thought I got the tick timing right, but I didn't. Right. Um, you can actually see it over here as well, just the wiring goes down like we had before. A little yeah. button in the wall, that's cool. Amazing. So, when I want to go down and the minecart's not here, which will happen sometimes, if I hold down space. Uh huh. And then I can walk off, and it didn't look like it moved the minecart. Is it fine? No, because to do that? the because the daylight sensor is blocking it from moving. Oh, yeah. that's brilliant. Yep, that's brilliant. <laughs> Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. If I leave it, is this ever going to power the block below it? No, it's not. Is it? I don't, it's I don't think so. Redstone. Right. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, dude, let's go outside here and stand in the glorious thunder and lightning <laughs> and the rain. <laughs> Yeah, thank you ever so much for that. Really do appreciate it because I had a whole load of problems getting that to work, including with that one. But we got there in the end. And thanks awesome. for all the diorite, man. I really no problem. No problem. I need to make you an ender chest. We're going to do that before uh, I log off. <laughs> uh, very cool. And uh, yes. if you guys haven't already done, check the descriptions below for Woolly's tutorial video because yes, indeed. Lord it's knows we are not the good teachers for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are not indeed. All right, then. That's going to wrap up this episode. As always, if you've enjoyed it, people, please do leave a like. You know, it's always appreciated. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. And uh, do you know what? Do you want to do the sign off this one? <laughs> yeah, this is Zuljin and Asuma signing off. See you next time. Bye bye. Bye.